Fala pessoal, eu sou o Kalil e bem-vindo a mais um vídeo aqui no canal. Desenvolvido pela BioWare e publicado pela Electronic Arts, né? a famosa EA, <risos> Anthem é um jogo de RPG online com muita ação e se tornou aí facilmente o mais querido da E3 de 2017. Todo mundo foi surpreendido né, com o que vimos e desde então qualquer notícia que sai nova sobre o jogo é motivo para parar todo mundo. Isso é fato. Se não estiver enganado, aí o jogo ele tá para sair dia 22 de fevereiro, né? Deus queira que sim, porque minha hype tá, mano, <risos> gigante. Mas para já responder um pouco mais, né, sobre o que esperar do jogo, a EA disponibilizou dia 5 agora desse mês um novo gameplay e este eu vou assistir com vocês pela primeira vez, beleza? Então já deixa o like aí para ajudar, dá aquela força, se não é inscrito no canal, se inscreva, seja muito bem-vindo, bora lá! Uh, there's going to be basically two bases, your main base, which is going to be the fort, and then your uh, more forward base, which can actually go out there on the front lines, and this is going to be known as the Cara, olha, olhem, né, essas armaduras, esses trajes, mano. Cara, é impressionante a qualidade gráfica desse jogo. Não cansa de me surpreender. Absolutely. <risos> Ó, dá pra ver aqui, ó, que estamos jogando aí com dois colossos, né, e um ranger. E é online, galera, é online isso aqui. Jogando em co-op os caras estão. Até hoje não sei porque não fizeram um jogo do Homem de Ferro, velho. Um decente, né? Olha isso, mano. Dava pra fazer tranquilo. A primeira coisa que me ganhou nesse jogo foi esse, esse mergulho, né? Que eles deram lá naquela primeira gameplay. Actually influence the gameplay, but here we go. We are taking down uh, this faction here. They're known as the Scars. Uh, the Scar patrols are in our way, and we gotta take them out. So they've already dropped some loot, and of course it's color coded dependent on rarity. You know, purple is gonna be, of course, more rare than uh, green. You can see we picked up. Ah, dá pra dar uma tunada na corrida. Ele liga esse propulsor, né? Galera, na boa, meu. Eu tô numa hype tão alta pra esse jogo. Olha isso, meu. Tá bom, vou ficar quieto. Vai, vamos ver o bagulho. Or go back to the fort and unlock. And what this does is encourages you Whoa. to uh, continue the story elements from the fort and really experience the characters and the world, which is something Bioware is especially proud of with this game. They really uh, aren't shy about how much they focused on the story with this one, more so than they than they uh, claim other uh, games of this genre have ever before. So that's really cool. And I'm Quite excited about that one because I think we do need a really good PVE type experience right now, especially with a lot of the battle royale and PvP games out there. But again, you can see how absolutely stunning this game is. And we're tracking an acid trail that's basically the gist of the story. It seems like they're using some sort of acid to create a uh, weapon. Devastating. Oh, novo cara apareceu ali, vocês viram? Uh, but a storm just came into the mix, so you can see that there is drop in and drop out co op. A lot of you guys are wondering how this is going to work. Mano, Bam. Que insano. What an epic move there. I'm going to talk, talk about more uh, about the combo system in this game as well in just a moment. But yeah, drop in and drop out co op is a big deal in this game. And of course, you can play with any of your friends and. Uh, find random players as well of any level so you guys do not have to be the same level the game will basically uh you know kind of scale the enemies to your levels of course it's ideal to have your levels a little bit closer together uh, as that would make more sense but uh this is a really good decision on 
Cara, esse lance de você poder mergulhar ficou muito legal também. We are diving into the underwater world here. A lot of you guys are wondering, can you actually, uh, you know, shoot underwater and engage enemies underwater? So no, it's more like a traversal mechanic and getting to our strongholds and secret bases like we are right now. You're probably wondering about that huge creature that we just uh, uh, kind of skipped over. So we're not powerful enough to take on that Titan that we just saw. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna work our way up to taking on those huge titans. We don't know the exact story behind uh, the titans or the lore behind those, uh, but I imagine there are going to be a lot of uh, lore elements in this game related to those mammoth beasts. And uh, yeah, I was really excited to see those because I knew that there was something in this game related to the titans. And you could see the storm up ahead floating around. Uh, that's a mechanic that uh, you can actually use indefinitely. It doesn't have a charge for the storm, so you can float around uh, all you want and uh, not worry about a cooldown. At least that's what they're doing at the moment. I spoke to the developers about that one, so it looks like you could just uh, continue to just float around the world uh, as well as run around the world from the perspective of the Colossus as we are seeing right now. So we are approaching the enemy strongholds and we've got to find the port poison source and take out another scar patrol but here's a really good example of the new combo system right here so this is going to basically increase your damage that you deal and it's a synergy type uh gameplay style that you can really implement between your team members and works really well you know when i went hands-on with it it is amazing i was actually playing as the ranger and one of my favorite moves was to actually hover shoot while i'm hovering let them hit uh let my teammates hit the enemy and then i would go down on the uh enemy uh with a power dive using my melee move and it would cause like an electrical storm on the ground to spread out and it would cause massive damage and also activate a combo as well so there's some really powerful hover two melee moves i guess you would say in this game so you could do some dive bomb melee moves and uh, that's one of my favorite moves in the game for sure you can see how open a lot of these environments are you know when i played it there was so much ridiculous freedom so much so where you're like man where do i go what do i do and you just got to figure it out uh and that's something that uh, i especially love about this game of course you know with the uh various javelins they kind of act like classes in this game as well uh so you can imagine you'll have your more caster type javelin sniper cent centric javelin and then the ranger is going to be uh i think the best javelin ah, que louco cara você pode parar no alto né? planando ali voando e atirar nos malucos by far one of my favorite moves in the game you have no idea it's absolutely addicting just floating up there ele pegou dois negocinhos ali que tá flutuando com ele não sei o que que é so we are trudging along we've got some more loot here and uh we are nearing our uh objective we've got to deliver these echoes here and silence hmm. the relic echoes entregues ali em cima take down these scars they are floating and this is an elite uh elite hunter and some of you are also asking about the numbers that pop up on the screen. You know, uh, can we actually set our HUD to limit that? Can we turn that off? Because some of you find that a bit distracting. I did speak to the developers at EA Play, and they did say that they are actually considering that. They've heard that several times. So imagine that they were over. Vocês viram ali? Um congelou, o outro já emendou num um combo, né? Muito and louco de explosões. Uh, quite the, uh, insano, show de verdade, there. insano. This, uh, is also showcasing the flamethrower ability that the other Colossus is using. So this Colossus right here doesn't have that flamethrower ability. He's got the mortar and everything else going on. And we're using the mortar. Caraca, right now, mano! <laughs> mortar. Caramba! Looks like the other Colossus has some sort of uh, other... Absurdo, absurdo. Maybe a one shot more. Muito homem de ferro, cara. Demais, demais. Can differ in that regard. You really want to take down these nasty turrets as well. There's the other. As explosões Look também estão muito bonitas, damage. cara. Absolutely Tudo tá bonito nesse jogo, né? O que que tem de errado nele? Nada, mano. 
And uh, also flying. Some of you are wondering, how does the flying feel in Anthem? It feels wonderful. I don't know if some of you have played Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, but this is definitely a huge improvement over those controls. Uh, and I loved the controls in Mass Effect Andromeda. And, uh, you know, once they got to, like, Mass Effect 2 and 3, they really started nailing down the actual shooting mechanics. And they've improved it even more in Anthem. And basically, uh, you can hover at any time if you want to. Of course, there is a cooldown to consider uh, when you are actually, uh, you know, flying around with your javelin. And again, you can cool down uh, your boosters by going into water or going into waterfalls. Uh, so that's something to consider when actually traversing the landscape. Landscape, excuse me. So we got to find a way underground and get to this big boss, and there's some of the uh, wildlife, which is awesome to see. And this world is actually described as an abandoned world by the god that was around, so something has happened. And, uh, you know, Bioware did say that they're going to have lore pieces throughout uh, the actual open world. You're going to be able to, you know, learn more about the characters at the fort, and also collect different types of relics and learn about that backstory but something serious something ominous is around the corner we're getting close to the bottom. cara oh, isso me lembra right gears of war isso me lembra mass uh, effect cara me lembra até mesmo destiny Street. liga de certa forma muito legal tenho certeza que eu vou gostar disso i love starship troopers so seeing these type of alien creatures in this game really gave me some nostalgia towards starship troopers so in the interest of time, we're moving on and loading up this boss battle. The whole crew is together. And, uh, you know, the loot system is going to work this way, guys. So when you actually obtain loot, by the way, uh, it will basically favor what type of javelin you are currently piloting. So that's something to remember as well. Although, let's pretend you're piloting, you know, say the Colossus right here. You can still pick up you know, gear and other weapons for, say, a range. Esse golpe que ele dá também no chão tá muito bacana. Será o Colossus a melhor armadura do game, velho? Mano, é simplesmente destruidora. A gente não viu, né, muito do que o, o Ranger pode fazer, né, mas só, olha, só de ver aqui o Colossus já fiquei instigado a jogar com ele. We've got a flare going off, which will give us some light and intel straight into the water here. As you can see how dark and e tudo isso em coop, pessoal. Olha That's só que bacana. Really beautiful. That's the one thing about this game is it is a looker. It is stunning. And if you're wondering, does it really look this good when you're playing it in person? It does. I was playing on like an ultra PC, of course, but man, you know, the Frostbite engine is something special and we have entered the hive <laughs> look at all the particles é um boss ali pelo jeito né i mean it's breathtaking it truly true truly é uma colmeia esse lugar so we basically saved up our ultimate you can see in the lower right corner that we are ready to go and here is one of the lore pieces that i was speaking about earlier it's a uh, rune so you can learn more about the uh, world and the environments and you know maybe there's more lore details about this creature that died or the hive or even the uh, factions in the game so you can uh, basically collect those on your journey in anthem and this is going to open up into the big big epic scene that was kind of uh, teased uh, at EA Play and kind of cut off, but we're going to be seeing a lot more of it here, so that's very exciting. So let's jump in and get to the action. Storm has come in, We've got our back up, and here we go. Maluco! Climbing on down. Olha que bizarro! I love this thing. So cool. And it's going to be a light show here in just a moment. So we've got to find the source of the eggs, which we just did, basically. 
And this thing is known as the Swarm Tyrant. You gotta be careful of it. Olha a vida disso. É Swarm Tyrant o nome, eu acho, né? And of course, uh, causes some major damage. Olha a vida do bagulho. Um monte de nego batendo. E a vida dele mal come. Maluco. It really moves around the environment. Que isso? Tem uns pequenos também. Kind of bothered me about Destiny in some respects when you get into some of the bigger boss battles is a lot of the uh, bosses just stand there, but this one is very mobile in many different ways. You'll see it crawl up the side. Olha o regaço, mano, e a vida quase não come. Na boa, tem que ser com a galera mesmo, meu. Olha isso, como imagina sozinho. Go straight into hover and still shoot. See, I was doing this and then hitting them with the uh, slam move as well. It was risky, but I was like, I gotta try it. Also tried riding the back of this thing. Just say you don't want to get too close to it because it's got this crazy slam. Caramba, ele caiu. So you definitely want to keep your distance, and of course, once you defeat this thing, expect some very unique, rare loot. Galera, so saca a vida do bagulho. Chaos. Look at that flamethrower action going down. You know, we've got a lot of elemental damage going on against this thing from basically everyone. You've got lightning from the storm. Não lembra Gears, cara? Lembra Gears, cara? Eu acredito que é o Ranger que está causando o damage de calor. Não me quote me sobre isso, mas todos têm tipos diferentes de habilidades. O Storm, o personagem é mais como o seu personagem. Aí você vai, eu acho que é o ice que está saindo agora. Sim, é. Você pode ver que ele está frozendo muitas dessas criaturas em lugar. E eles estão tomando significante de damage. E você pode também chamar em lightning. Então, esse personagem Storm eu acho que vai ser extremamente popular. Me diga. Who you're going to be playing with in Anthem? And by the way, we haven't even talked about the Interceptor. That's kind of the unknown class. The really Olha o bagulhão aí de novo. Uh, to our imagination, but that's the one I want to learn about, and I think they know that they're really doing a good job teasing that one. So the Interceptor seems like he's going to be more like the ninja class or something like that. Oh crap! So for some reason, we've gotten the attention of our swarm tyrant, and he is pissed. And on fire. Ooh, that looks like that hurts. But what's really cool again is you can see how much Caiu de novo. this boss is moving around the environment. Que isso, cara? Has to get near him. Puta and bam, here, merda. Are, here we are using our ultimate power. Caramba! Combos going on as well. It almost looks like a nuclear explosion. But uh, Maluco! Yeah, is, Galera, uh, na boa. Esse game nós temos que jogar E com certeza Saindo, vamos trazer Para o canal, cara, é, é mais do que Certeza <risos> Bom pessoal, espero que vocês tenham gostado Deixa o seu like, seu comentário também Do que você está achando e o que você está esperando De Anthem, beleza? Um forte abraço, tudo de bom, fiquem com Deus Meu, eu tô arrepiado, que foda Até o próximo vídeo, valeu!